Hi, welcome to ERP Next Tutorials. In this video, we will learn how to manage production cycle in ERP Next. You can create a new production order from the manufacturing module. New production order can also be created from production planning tool. If you initiate production order on receipt of an order from the customer, you can create production order from a sales order. This is a sales order made for the manufacturing item. To create a production order, click on the Make button. With this, a draft of production order has been generated. Item sales order quantity is updated as quantity to manufacture. Other item details like name and bill of material ID is also fetched into production order. If you enable multi-level BOM, then in this production order, instead of sub-assembly item itself, its raw materials items will be consumed in the manufacturing process. If I uncheck this field, then the sub-assembly item itself will be consumed in the manufacturing process. Now, we only have sub-assembly item, and not its raw materials. This also means, you will have to create a separate production order for the sub-assembly item. Work in progress warehouse will be where manufacturing process will be carried out. After completion of production, finished item will be stored in this warehouse. Workstation will be fetched from BOM if needed. You can select another workstation here. Let's save and submit this production order. Timesheet has been auto-created and which actual operations hours will be captured. Production process starts with transfer of raw materials from the stores to work in progress warehouse. Enter quantity of finished item for which raw materials are being issued. These raw material items has been fetched from production order. Item will be transferred from the source warehouse to the target warehouse. Let's go back to production order and check its status. Based on the transfer entry, production order status has been updated as in process. Once materials are being issued to work in progress warehouse, various operations will be performed on it. In a timesheet, we will track actual time spent for completing each operation. Update actual time taken for the process of assembling. As per the standard time set in the bill of materials, this operation should have been completed in 2.5 hours. Let's assume that it actually took 3 hours for completion. Same way, you can update actual time for each operation, and then save and submit this timesheet. After submitting timesheet, we will go to production order. Based on a timesheet, actual operating cost is updated in the production order. When finished item is produced, we will create a manufacture entry from production order. Enter quantity of finished item for which you are creating manufacturing entry. On submission of the manufacture entry, Raw material items will be consumed from work in progress warehouse, and stock of finished item will be added in finished goods warehouse. Based on the valuation of raw materials items and actual operations cost, valuation rate will be calculated for the finished item. Operations cost will be added in the additional cost table. You can also add other expenses, if any incurred. Let's save and submit the manufacture entry.
Now, let's go back to production order and check its status. As indicated in the progress bar, the production order status has been updated as completed. Now, you can go back to the sales order and create a delivery note to dispatch this item to your customer. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.